Champagne Well is um, going to go hopefully for the Coral Cup if he gets in. Looks like he will get in and he's got a good course form. He's won at Cheltenham and um, probably got outstayed in the River Don at Doncaster. So uh, we're really looking forward. You saw him in school this morning with Paddy on. Paddy's really looking forward to riding him. Uh, he goes on any ground very soft at Donny the last day. Probably was good to soft when he won round Cheltenham. He missed, uh, he missed the Persian War. Uh, went to Cheltenham a couple of weeks later and won a grade two. So, um, yeah, no, he'll go on any ground, but yeah, it won't, it won't affect him. But I think the trip is important to him. And the two mile five, a fast run two mile five, I think would be suit him down to the ground. Capsule um, goes there this year on the back of a run, whereas last year she didn't. She got good course form at Cheltenham, won her bumper there as a, as a four year old, um, was second to Lorena uh, in the mayor's race. And um, yeah, so she'll go on any ground, softer the better for her, really. Don't think it'll be that soft at Cheltenham, it'll dry out, so I, I think it'll be fine. And um, yeah, she, she was, I was probably a little bit disappointed with her at Warwick, but Paddy was delighted with her. Um, but at least she's got a run into her this year. Last year she went there, like I said, without a run. And uh, she still, she wasn't beating miles, you know, so she ran, she ran very well last year. She's never had one major injury. She just had always had little niggles and, you know, she had an operation on her back in the summer and uh, back fetlock joints, you know. So it's, they're, they're probably all connected, but they're all just li di different little injuries, little niggles and that. Uh, so that's why she's so lightly rest. But she's a very good mare. And, um, you know, so we're looking forward to seeing her run. Astillon has in, been in, in, in good form this year. Uh, he hasn't run once, he got a, a niggle in the autumn. So um, that put his chasing career on hold for a little bit. Ran very well at Chepstow first time out for us. And then ran an absolute blinder in the, in the big hand, 100 grand handicap at Ascot. Uh, sorry, at Sandown. You know, just got beaten by one off nine stone 13. I think we gave it 18 pounds, one of Christian Williams' horses. Um, he goes for the stairs. Uh, he's run well around Cheltenham. He's fifth in a listed bump around there. Didn't probably go as well as we thought he would last year in the, in the Ballymore, but you know, it was probably a bit short for him. The ground was dried out a little bit. So again, for him, the softer the better. Won't worry about the track um, and he's in good form. And the one thing for, with Dylan, you know, if he's there at the bottom of the hill, he'll give 100% and you know, he'll be there or thereabouts. You know, I think it's a very, uh, quite an open stairs. I think, you know, take Paisley Park out and um, you know, the, the, rest are, the, the rest are sort of, you know, much muchness really, you know. Paint the Dream, done nothing wrong this year over fences. Uh, he was second at Sandown in a very good race and also a very good second at Cheltenham um, in, a, in a good novice as well. Uh, rated 140, had a little bit of a blip the last day at uh, Ludlow where he um, made a mistake at the third and pulled the shoe off and that was end end of his race really. So, um, but no, he's got good course form. He will go on any ground. Uh, he runs in the Close Brothers. Connor Brace had a, a, a bang on the leg in the fall at Newcastle on the, on the flat there a couple of weeks ago. So hopefully Connor will be back to ride him. It gets on very well with him. And um, yeah, like I say, he, he jumps and he travels really well. He can make the run and he can drop in. He can do anything, you know. Again, a nice fast run, two and a half mile in the Close Brothers would be ideal for him. Ocean Cove, um, again, was a very good hurdler for us last year. Did nothing wrong. He's only had a couple of runs over fences. He's got a lot to find on the ratings, probably, with, with some of the, the, the horses in the National Hunt Chase. Not the four-miler anymore, it's so three miles six. He's got, a, he's got a bit to find on ratings, but he, you know, he's a very good stayer. He's, he's had two solid runs. Um, Paddy was delighted with him the last day at, um, at Exeter. He was only getting going really when the, when the race was all over, you know, just, just tap for a little bit of speed. So I don't think he's run at Cheltenham yet, so can't tell you about course form, but he'll go on any ground. Um, he's won on soft, he's won on, on almost good to firm, so he's very versatile. And uh, yeah, again, a great bunch of owners, so be really looking forward to taking him there. You probably can't see there now, but he, he, did, he did something to himself in the field and he got a big bump in his head, so it took us a long time to get him going this year. So. Um, that's why he's only had the two runs. So um, yeah, but he, you know, say he's he's an out now chaser. So um, fingers crossed, he goes and gives gives everyone a nice time. We we took uh, bells and banjos there last year. We would have a similar profile two years ago, and um, you know he finished sixth. So this this fella ran somewhere like that would be would be all over the moon. Jarvis plate was was very impressive. We, first time out for us at um, at Chepstow uh, in a listed chase, and probably less so. Probably ran, ran him in the wrong race at Haydock after that. Uh, was running very well in the Cato Star, whatever it's called, the Novice Chase, uh, the Grade 1 at Kempton. Uh, got hampered and he stayed on to be fourth, but you know, his race were gone by then. And then probably was disappointing again at Cheltenham the last day. Just Connor rode him, said never rose a gallop. Um, and he can be a little bit like that. He can, you know, I think he's probably very talented, but a little bit moody. 
Um, and you know, he, he's he's got it there. He's, like he's, the forms in the book, he, he's he's um, he, he's he's got the gears. He can jump well. He's got size and scope. He's got form round Cheltenham. He's won round Cheltenham. Yeah, he probably hasn't. He's not going in there with the best CV in the world to Cheltenham. A bit, little bit like last year, really. He he won on on, on the first of January last year, and then sort of bombed out a little bit. Finished third on the trials day, and then turned up at Cheltenham. And I think he was ninth or tenth in the Ballymore. But um, he's very talented. Um, we'll probably fix some headgear and um, he'll either go to the Close Brothers or he'll go for the Ultima. So we'll just see which way we, which way we decide closer to the time. He'll be left in both of them for now. But if he, if he put his best foot forward again, he'd have a, you know, he'd have a, a cracking each way chance. You know? Well, we're pretty sure there's a, there's a big race in him, you know, you know like a, a Midlands National or a Scottish National or something like that, you know. So, um, yeah, he's, he's got size and scope and he's, he's definitely got the, he's got the ability if, he, if we can get Get it, if we can eke it out of him a little bit, yeah. Brief Ambition did very well for us in his first bumper. Beat a good horse of Huey Morrison's, which went on and won again by a long way at Wincanton. Then he ran in the listed bumper at uh, Chatham, finished fourth. Um, you know, uh, ran on really well uh, to uh, David Pipe's horse, which I think is probably one of the favourites. And then he was second himself in the listed bumper at Newbury uh, a couple of weeks ago beaten by a flat horse on, on ground that had dried out too much for him probably so. So he goes there with a realistic each way chance, you just don't know what's going to come over from Ireland. So you just you know, hope that um, you know, on the day it'll be, he'll, he'll love the hurly burly, he's, um, he's got point to point uh, form so he'll be used to that, he's got good experience, he's very straightforward to ride um, so Paddy will have a nice time and he's got a great, great group of owners. So and I say he's got a bit of track form as well, he finished fourth there so yeah looking forward to seeing him there. Harry Redknapp's got a, got a share, um, he's got a quarter share in this fella with uh, Chris Coley, Debs and Pete. So they, they're a, a good group and uh, either either way they'll enjoy, they'll enjoy the day. Ask a honeybee, um, well what can you say when he hasn't done anything wrong this year? He's three from three in bumpers, I always think it takes a good horse to win two bumpers. Um, but this fella has won three. Um, Liam Harrison has taken a valuable seven off him, who's our amateur. And um, yeah, he's been very good. He's been very solid. He's very straightforward. Um, again, he's one I think if he could, if he can lay up with him uh, early doors and sort of be somewhere handy around the, the, the bottom of the hill, he would definitely power up the hill. You know, he's um, he, he's won round Haydock. He, he won at Southall. Um, and he think he won at Weatherby, his last one. Um, and again, won different ways. He's won from the front the last day. He, he's won from, from being ridden mid, mid, midfield. Um, so yeah, he, he's again very versatile. He's done nothing wrong. He's so straightforward to train. Yeah, he'd be, again, lovely syndicate. It'd be lovely to take him to Cheltenham. Paddy will get the choice. Um, I haven't spoken to the owners yet. They might want to leave Liam on him, which I'm not sure would be the, the wisest thing because Liam can't claim he's seven and probably you know, lacks a little bit of experience maybe. But um, so, Paddy will have the choice between this and Brief Ambition, yeah. I think Paddy would probably want to ride Brief Ambition and, and, um, and then, you know, I'd be putting Connor on this fella if it was my choice, yeah. That's nothing against Liam, it's just that, you know, when you go into Cheltenham, you need to, you, to give yourself the best chance, you wanted to have the most experience and Connor was four, fifth for his last year at the festival on his first ride on Cool Anley in the boys race. So it's just having that big race day experience, you know. Good boy dancer Kent was from Knowledge of Twiston Davis's last year. Kempt us this season. Uh, won first time out of Cheltenham and then he was um, going to win again I think next time and he fell at the last just got, got to the front and then we were trying to qualify him for the Potemps so we went to Huntington on a day we probably shouldn't have gone and he absolutely bombed out so he's going to go for the boys race if he gets in the conditional jockeys race the Martin Pipe race and he's owned by a great syndicate well he's owned by Chris Coley but he's leased to the Noel Feely Racing Club. Uh, David Cross was in this morning you saw him school and uh, he's in great form so I'd love him to go there so um, fingers crossed he'd love that race He'll travel and he'll jump and uh, he loves Cheltenham. Ch his Cheltenham form obviously is, is very good this year. So um, yeah, he, he, I think he'd have a great each way chance in the boys race if we can get him in.